Hey, hey, everybody, it's Clue Connors with Radius Lead Management and CRM Solution, RadiusBob.com. Just want to do a quick video tutorial on how to import your leads or how to import your clients into your Radius account. Pretty straightforward, two things to keep in mind here. Uh, if you are importing leads, you'll click on the lead section and do it from there. If you are importing clients, you'll click on the client section and import it from there. Uh, we're going to focus on leads. So I'm clicking on leads on the left hand side. Uh, then I'll go to import leads. This page is the first page or the first step in the process. Uh, two things to really focus on uh, to make sure you can get further than this particular page is your import file needs to be a .csv file, a comma separated value file. So if you are using Excel and you might have a .xls file, you need to do a file save as and choose comma separated value. If you're using numbers on the Apple Macintosh platform, you'll do a file save as, and once again, choose .csv or a comma separated value field. Once you've done that, as you start to scroll down a little bit, you'll see all these data fields that are listed. These are the actually data field names and descriptions that are inside the database or within Radius. Uh, so we need to do a few things here. We either need to prep our file and make sure our column headings on the first row actually match last name uh, specifically and exactly, match name, company, job title, so on and so forth. Or if we're gonna go through the mapping process, which is page two, uh, we're gonna have to search for those two automatically. So I've got a file that's all prepped. I'm gonna cover a few things in here. Uh, the first uh, requirement is that row one needs to be your column headings. So you'll see in column A and B and C, I've got first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, so on and so forth. If I scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see an example here of county. Now, if I want to import this Maricopa County lead, I need to make sure I've got Maricopa County set up as a county within the county settings uh, for Arizona. If I don't have Maricopa County within the radius account configuration, it's not gonna map Mar Maricopa. And the same thing goes for statuses and coverage types and so on and so forth. Make sure you've got these configured and built within your account first prior to the import, or it's not gonna map those automatically. Secondarily, if I've got a custom field such as fast food or lead source or anything I've built within the coverage types and data field section within Radius, I've gotta build those custom form fields first inside of Radius before I try and import them from my import file too as well. And then finally, the one that kind of gets tricky, uh, but I'll go through it to help, hopefully kind of explain it and make it a little uh, simpler. But as I'm scrolling down these lists of potential data fields that I can import to, you'll see a few things around um, attachments, tasks, and products. So on the product section here kind of covers off what your column headings need to be when you import products. And the short answer is it's going to be a column heading of product, product number one, product carrier number one product status number one, so on and so forth. So if I toggle back to our sample file, you'll see I've got product status number one, product coverage type number one, product carrier. Uh, just the little things here is you gotta make sure there's no space in between coverage type or effective date, renewal date. But if I get into product, product number two, product, product number three, that's how I'm going to import all the data as it pertains to the first product. That's how I'm going to import all the data as it pertains to the second product. Um, so make sure that's all configured properly in the column heading for your import file. Back to our import. So now I've got my file prepared. I've either updated the column headings within my file or I know I'm going to have to map some of these uh, data fields from my spreadsheet to the database within Radius. The next steps are what do I want to do with duplicates, right? Or what do I want to do with potential duplicates? So I might have leads or clients that are already in the system. Uh, my spreadsheet, maybe I'm not too aware of what uh, it may be from a potential duplicate perspective. So why don't I choose email address? Why don't I choose name? Why don't I choose phone? Or maybe a combination with a control click uh, for the system to look at my file and say, hey, in your file, we've seen this phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that number is actually existing in Radius to a specific lead. What do you want us to do it? Because we found a duplicate in your import file. And there's really three options, right? So you can say, okay, it found uh, a lead that has that phone number in my file that's already in my Radius account. I can just go ahead and create a duplicate. So it's gonna create that record with that phone number. 
I can tell it to ignore that record in my import file and do not create a duplicate, do not import that information for that lead. Or I can say, you know what? I want it to import that information and update the existing lead that's inside a race because maybe there's new information from an address perspective or maybe there's a new status or maybe there's a new county, so on and so forth. So that's why you'll click the update if only a matching record is found to update the record inside a race with your new information from your import file. And then you can go ahead and check on uh, matching records for leads or clients or both. Uh, next, you'll go ahead and choose a file. I've got our sample file here. I'm gonna click on radius sample, click open. So the next page after I click next step, the system is automatically trying to map those fields from your spreadsheet that you just imported to the database fields that are already in the system. So when I look at this page, I'm gonna see first name, last name, address, Anything above the drop down is the column heading that's actually in my file. So as you see, I'll scroll down. There's my fast food column. There's my lead source column heading from our previous example file. And then, oh, wait, I've done some stuff when it comes to the product, right? So there's my product status, my product coverage type. Um, so you're going to see that the system is listing all your column headings in that importation uh, file. So, so because the system has automatically mapped first name and last name, address, city, and state, so on and so forth. Oh, wait, look at this. Cell phone did not automatically map. So I've got cell space phone in my example. Well, I don't want to use the specified header because it's not going to map it properly. I need that one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to click in there. I'm going to just type in cell. And look, there we go. Cell is displayed. So it's cell, that's how the database within Radius is configured for the cell phone. So my import file said it's cell phone, but it actually has to be cell. So now I've got those, I've manually mapped those, right? There's my county, there's my status, oh, fast food. Well, if I leave it use specified header and I don't have fast food in there, it's not gonna map it automatically. So let's search for fast food, uh-oh, no results, right? So what do we wanna do? Well. At this point in time, uh, since I didn't add that into my system already, I'm just going to choose the do not import, okay? So because I'm choosing do not import, it's not going to import that uh, custom field so far. Lead source it found automatically, excellent. So here's where it gets you know a little tricky, but back to our product status number one, product coverage type number one. Remember, we put in the exact requirements inside our file right so here's our product status product coverage types so i know i did this exactly correctly and i want radius to use that specified header so when i do product statuses when i do uh, product coverage types anything product related i want it to use the specified header we've defined in our file so typically only around products are you going to use a specified header when it's a custom field or any other custom uh, standard fields I wanna make sure I've got the one-to-one -one mapping process, right? I wanna make sure that's done. So as I scroll down, okay, and the next step is simply just to click import. So what it's gonna do there, system's gonna tell you uh, it, the import has been queued up. So that's actually been queued up in the background job server and that's processing and dependent upon the size of the import, if it's 15 leads, it's a 1500 leads, 5,000 leads, uh, could take uh, something as quickly as five minutes, could take something as quickly or as long as 30 minutes. It just depends on the file size you're trying to import. So I'm going to receive an email automatically. Uh, once my import has been completed, it's going to give me a results file. So I click on a CSV file and it's going to tell me what was imported, what wasn't imported. And that's uh, as simple, uh, hopefully, as it is for you guys to try and import your leads or import your clients into uh, your Radius account. And there is the lead we just imported. Any questions, just let us know.